And I wonder if little Eric Root from America has the same problem. Well, the US pros are up on the gate now, and the world champion Clint Miller rides for the green team. Alongside him for the black team, that's uh, Harry Leary. And for the white team, the uh, US uh, 17 expert champion, Nelson Shanaday. The red team, there's Eric Roop. And alongside him, see the difference in size, that's six foot two inch Brian Patterson who rides for the silver team and he's the US number one. Smiling Mike Miranda, despite the bad weather conditions, rides for the gold team. And alongside him, it has uh, Greg Hill for the yellow team. Never seems to smile, this man, concentrating all the time. And on the extreme right, Andy Patterson rides for the blue team. Clint Miller pulling on those handlebars, setting up front wheel against the gate. And Miller's made a very good start indeed from this inside uh, position. And over the top of the camel, they're all clear. And going to that fast bend so quickly indeed. And it's Root that's shot into the lead. The little man has gone straight into the lead. And he's been chased by a big one because that's six foot two in. Brian Patterson is trying to close up on him. And Patterson thumped into the straw bale. And that slowed him down. But my goodness, the tabletop didn't. And he cut back the last ground. Still Eric Root though is in the lead, in the front. Of those two jumps. He's left a gap and Patterson's gone through it. Patterson's forced his way through. Eric Root's got to come round the outside side to close up in the finishing straight. Can't make it though. Brian Patterson for silver is first. Eric Root for the red team second and Harry Leary for black in third place. So an excellent example of tactical racing there by Brian Patterson. Eric Roop over the whoops and into the last berm takes it slightly wide. Brian just nips through on the inside. Eric Roop power wheelies to try and catch up but Brian Patterson holds on to his lead. Okay Brian Patterson what a move on that last turn. What did you think of that race? It was a good race, you know, we were just dicing everywhere. Eric took good lines and had to bump him a couple times on the inside, but yeah. it's the only way to get around him on this track. That was pretty tight in that first turn. I think Clint Miller had the uh, hole shot nearly there. That yeah, was pretty Clint tight. had a really good start, and then he just slid out. I don't know what happened. That's right, it's pretty tight in that first turn. Oh, yeah. Eric, what happened in the last turn? Went a little too wide. Can't do that. Are you pretty happy with second, then? Yeah, I'm always happy with I can't be mad with that. So honours for round five go to Clint Miller's green team with 46 points. But good performances by Andy Patterson's blues and Tim March's golds mean the table for the series so far looks like this. Just one round to go and the Kellogg's championship title still wide open. So that's it, the end of week five and yet more incredible BMX track riding and of course action from the freestylers. Well, I don't know about you, but I do like this place up here. I think it's quite good. I think next week we'll have to uh, stay here and change the track around a bit. That's the, that's the plan. What's going to happen next week is they're going to slightly change the track around, make it a little bit more hard for the big boys. But uh, we feel that it's going to be so exciting. You just better be watching next week on uh, Channel 4 for BMX bike riding at its very best. We'll see you there.